Do not attach any association of this to me whatsoever. I have nothing to do with such idiocy, such blasphemy, such ridiculous nonsense. This is so disrespectful. He let shots go, my flock of the flock. Dougie B, you a fucking imposter. You was on dick trying to be on the roster. He said Dougie B, you an imposter. And I look at him off for the roster. Fuck about baby. No. 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 What's the vibes, munchers? Today we're going to be looking at some of the most disrespectful lyrics to come out of the drill scene in NYC. To start off, we're going to go with a more lighthearted lyric from Mr. Move Look Himself. For those unaware, Cheddar Bob is a character from the movie, 8 Mile. In the movie, a scene occurs where he is ordered by his friends to put his gun away before he shoots someone by accident. Upon putting the gun in his pants, Cheddar Bob proceeds to accidentally shoot himself. On the 18th of January, 2022, C. Blue would get into an altercation with a police officer. During the altercation, a scuffle ensued over C. Blue's gun, and during this, the gun would go off shooting himself and the officer in the leg. Keem would go on to diss C. Blue by referring to him as Cheddar Bob in his song, Been Ready. Did this nigga just call me Cheddar Bob? What did he say? My brothers, y'all should be so ashamed of yourself. Brandon B. Diddy Hendrix was 17-year-old teenager from the Bronx. On June 28, 2020, Diddy would lose his life at a party in Morris Heights. At this party, an argument would break out, leading to guns being drawn. As shots flew out, innocent bystander Diddy would catch a shot to the neck and eventually pass away because of it. Although Diddy was a civilian, he was known to be associated with the OGs like CJ Goon. Known for his talents in basketball, the sweepers would mock his death using basketball wordplay, adding further attention to their rise in the scene recently. Paint the whole city red. I go dummy like Eddie and Ed. One of them died and the other one fled. I was praying to God that Lil TJ was dead. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I beg your pardon? Although Lil TJ has reached mainstream success within the rap game, his name has also long been associated with the drill scene. Often referring to himself as Lil TJ SB, the SB stands for Slattery Boys or Smelly Block, a gang from his neighborhood. The name Smelly Block refers to his fallen friend Smelly, who he has paid respect to on multiple occasions. I wish my bro was here to see me grind. I wish I had the chance to talk to him just one more time. The Drillies beef with Smelly Block, and with the news of Lil TJ being shot seven times in New Jersey, Say Drilly began to froth at the mouth because of the potential new op pack. Fortunately, TJ would survive this shooting, but at a time when the whole industry was pulling for TJ to survive, this diss was crazy. I don't know what to tell y'all, bro. I'm simply just better than y'all niggas, and I'm simply just more known than you niggas. Get off my dick. Like, I do what I want. He try to fuck, put him on a post of luck. One of my ops had that from a shot, he got to his shoulder luck. If I speak, I am in, in big trouble in big trouble and i don't want to be in big trouble matt sav was a member of a crew known as two woo a group that beefs with a lot of the crews in the drill scene because of this you will hear matt's name mentioned in numerous songs on july 26 2021 matt would be gunned down by an assailant on a dirt bike currently locked up for the murder the feds alleged the hit was carried by pj glizzy of the ogs who is also the brother of shaw ek like no funny shit Bro, I robbed you, bro. I'm gonna keep it above. I robbed you, gang. You ain't do shit about it. Although, recently, rumors have began to spread that the man behind the gun was recently deceased, Sugar Hill Mel. Although these rumors are from TikTok, and they be saying anything for the internet, so I wouldn't pay it no mind until it's actually reported on. PJ would earn the nickname Dirt Bike Assassin, and Matt would be dissed by many rappers for the foreseeable future. Oh, hell no, man. What the 
In C Blue's song No Ozone Part 2, he disses Say Drilly by mentioning a time he went to visit a girl to get busy with her, only to be met by some crips from DOA. One of these guys would be Nas Rolla, aka Nazi, a good friend of C Blue, K Flock, and other rappers from DOA. A week after this incident, Nazi would lose his life after getting shot in broad daylight in apparent get back for the lining of Say Drilly. Say would confirm getting lined, but would rap that it doesn't matter because the man who came after him is already dead. And you two motherfuckers need Jesus. Right after, I'm like a ghost, they calling me Casper. Too fast, no, they can't catch up. She was living out, I bet you ghost. Stop. 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 <laughs> Delilah Vasquez was a 20 year old woman from the Bronx and was an affiliate of the YGs and Drillies. Delilah can be seen on videos and posts with notable members of these crews, such as Shah G's and D Thang. On March 27, 2021, Delilah would be at an apartment on 3,339 Hull Avenue in the Bronx. An argument would break out, and as a result, Delilah would be shot in the head and left for dead in the apartment. Delilah's name would become infamous, as she has now become probably the main female to be dissed in the drill scene. Although she was a woman, many people jacked that she was not innocent, and often said she was smoking on dead ops like yellow. Delilah's death showed that it does not matter who you are. Anyone jacking the ops is putting their life at risk. It's no secret that I get disgusted by a lot of things. I'm just so disgusted. I can't tell you how disgusted I am. I'm disgusted with it right now. I'm so disgusted. I'm disgusted with it. I'm so disgusted. I'm so damn disgusted. I'm just disgusted. I'm just disgusted. I'm just disgusted. I'm just and now, here's a word from our sponsor. Nice. You don't got a gun, so how's you shooting me? Say rip guy hit that trip. He ain't even make it to puberty. I'm still amazed by the, the stuff that comes out of your mouth. I I don't even know what to say to you right now. Jerry Yon Elliott, also known as J Rip or J Rip K, was a 13-year-old teenager from the Bronx and was a part of the rolling 80s Crips and under the alliance of DOA. Rippy is actually a day one friend of K Flock and was close to many of the notable members from DOA. On the 11th of July, 2021, J Rip would lose his life in a broad daylight shooting carried out by the YGs. The attack is alleged to have been a getback for the killing of Ty Swish four days prior. Rippy would get hit in his chest and his leg and would unfortunately not make it, with all this happening only weeks before his 14th birthday. To this day, he is dissed by many ops and honored by his loving brothers. But his killing would lead to one of the fastest getbacks in the city. Only six hours after the killing of J. Rip, DOA would already get their get back in the shooting of Ra G's. Real name Ramon Gil Medrano, Ra would be on his way to the studio in the back of an Uber. Whilst in the back seat, he would be on the phone with Nesty discussing ideas for new lyrics. As he would talk to Nesty, two men on bikes would drive past the Uber and open fire, hitting Ra in the head and killing him instantly. His death would only intensify the war between the YGs and DOA and would later lead to the killing of Nazi. Ra would live on in infamy, becoming who many people consider to be the Tuca of New York City. <laughs> Let's end it off a bit more lightheartedly. The story is pretty simple. Shaw E.K., aka Jiggy Man of the OGs, was seen in a viral video with his own mans giving him an atomic wedgie and dragging him across the sidewalk, and would basically be mocked for it the entire year. D Thang responds to E.K. by switching Jiggy Man to Wedgie Man, and one of the best nicknames in the history of Earth was formed. Like I said, this has nothing to do with me, and I don't promote violence. But E.K. needs to get back at his homie for this violation. Go get back! Fuck you talking about If y'all enjoyed the vid, feel free to hit the like button. If you're looking for more drill-related videos, beats and lyric videos, don't forget to subscribe. Wedgie Man this, Wedgie Man that, please stop. Mention my name in y'all tracks. Wedgie Man this, Wedgie Man that, please stop. Mention my name in y'all.